Good afternoon, um, uh, good evening, um, brothers, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank God for allowing us to um, hear and hear do what He wants us to do to love one another, to to stay on the Word. We thank God for for allowing us hearing of His Word and stay on it. Amen. So we're gonna read the scripture I have prepared in here. Is in um. Is um Isaiah chapter five, not Isaiah. Isaiah chapter forty-five, verses one through, and we get to understand God is the only one that we know who He is. You know? So I'm going up here in the scripture. I'm going to let you look out. We need to get this thing up. And I've prepared in the book of Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 45. Let's read it again. It says, Thus say the Lord to his anointed two disciples, who, whose right hand is holding the subdued nations before him. And I will loose the loan of the kings to open before him the two league gates and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked place straight. 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 I will break in peace the gates of grass. Under bars of iron, I will give thee the treasure of darkness, hidden the richest secret place, that sit thou is know that I am the Lord, which called the name by the name, am the God of Israel, for Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel elect. Namely, though thou hast no, not known me, I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I go that through though thou hast not known me. That they may know the rising of the sun, the rising, you know, the rising of the sun, of the sun, of the sun, and though from the west, that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there. There is none else. Person from the light and created darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down the heaven in heavens and from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let let, let the, Receiving the Holy Ghost in our hearts because of the Pentecostal church. And we gotta make sure we all stay strong here. Stay believing. And we gotta learn from what we do in our lives. And it's because of God's word. 
I'm thanking him for every time we just learn from our hearts. Just to remember every time. Is to give it his mercy to us. Is to give up our hearts to know who he is in our hearts. We love him with all of our mind, soul, and strength. So we give it him the ways we know that God has given us this short time. We don't know. And we thank you. And we give God what He calls us to do. Is to be. And we thank God. And we give Him. Father, we thank you. We Lord, we thank you for your word and your company, your, your testimony. Have you, Father, we give you what you call us to do, Lord. And we know who you are, Lord Jesus. Without you, that is impossible. But we only really thank you for your word and your testimony, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We give you the praises. We give you all the glory. We give you the praises and the glory. Jesus. Amen. Amen. We thank God for that. We thank God for that. Thank God He's with us throughout this, um, throughout what we're going through here. We thank God He allowed us to be, to be ready to call upon His name forevermore. We thank you, Him, to never let us keep Him, because He will never be us. We thank God for giving Him what we need to do, is to stay with Him.